all started around 1 a.m. when the victim says he heard a knock at his door. Three men were outside, and now deputies are left to figure out how one of the four ended up dead. Someone came to the door, knocked. Victim opens the door, recognizes the individual who asked for a lighter, and then uh, the rest of the incident unfolded. That's the scenario the Orange County Sheriff's Office is working with right now. The victim says he knew two of the three suspects who forced their way in once he went and got that lighter. The victim struggled with the men, then got his hands on a knife and stabbed two of the suspects. The victim himself was hit over the head. So he had some wounds to his head and some cuts on his hands, and we think they were more defensive. He's expected to be okay. Deputies found one of the suspects inside the apartment. He died at Osseo Regional Medical Center. A second suspect showed up at Florida Hospital Kissimmee and is now in custody. Deputies are still looking for the third suspect. Yeah, it scares me. I live here alone, so I don't. It's just me, and I get here really late. Gabriel Saavedra is a year into his lease at the Palms, which is a gated community. He says he's getting some extra locks for his doors. Richard Peck is a board member for the complex and says 24-hour security is something they're discussing. But for now, residents need to put their safety first. If somebody knocking on my door early in the morning, I'm going to figure there's something matter or an emergency. Look for your peephole first. If you're not sure, don't not open that door. No charges have been filed, but deputies say this could be justified if investigators determine the victim felt threatened. Jasmine Walker, West 2 News.